Hi there, I'm Luke. Welcome back to Photobuy and today we're checking out the Instax SQ6. Let's get into it. So the Fuji Instax SQ6 is a new model on their lineup and it is quite impressive in terms of its uh, style and design. What's more impressive is the fact that it actually does square Polaroid style uh, shots. So rather than the rectangular or the wide that we've already seen, they're now going down the square route. So we're getting the square shots and they've gone a little bit further than that as well. They've added a few more features that you wouldn't normally see on the lower, say the Instax Mini 8s and 9s. They've actually gotten some features such as double exposure, which we're looking forward to trying out. Uh, you still get in 10 shots and the shots themselves they don't actually cost um, uh, an enormous amount compared to what you would be paying for the Instax Minis. Uh, if the Instax Minis are going for about £15 then the squares are going for about £16 to £17. So it's not a major jump but it is a jump nonetheless. Um, in terms of playing with it we've had quite a lot of fun. The viewfinder is very accurate in how it balances out. Normally with a rangefinder you try and frame up and then the shot that comes out tends to be a bit um, wayward to the side. But with this, it's pretty accurate. I mean, obviously there's a bit of change on perspective, but it's not a massive one. On the back, you do have three buttons to use. So you can turn the flash off, um, which is quite handy. You have a timer, which is uh, set to 10 seconds. You can make it go off early if you wish. You also have a mode button, and this button controls what you see on the top here. And on the top, we have um, A for auto, and then you've got a selfie option because um, what this can actually do is it can focus at different distances. So you've got selfie, you've got macro, and then you've got landscape. So it will change the distance of where you want to focus. So if you're focusing within about 50 centimeters, that'd be macro. If you're focusing between 50 to two meters, then that would be selfie. And if you're focusing anything on further than two meters to infinity, then you would go for landscape. So it's really easy and it's really not that hard to do. And then next you also have your double exposure. So we're having a play with that, but it, for those of you who don't know what a double exposure is, essentially it layers two pictures together to give you one unique um, image. Um, we'll show you some uh, images to try and explain what I mean. And then the last two features you have are L and D, which are for light and dark. So you actually change the exposure of the pictures that you want. So you can go with um, L for light, and what that does is it brightens up the pictures. So if you're not a big fan of contrasty shots, you want like a high key kind of uh, vibe, you can go with L. If you want to go with a dark image, so you want to try and bring the exposure down, you can go with dark and it just kind of adds a bit more contrast to the image. Um, it may not use flash, it may use flash, it kind of depends on the situation. Um, but those are your features on the back and it gives you plenty of flexibility to shoot how you want to shoot but also allows you to experiment as well which is always fun when you're shooting on a Polaroid camera. Um, when it comes to on off button it's just at the top here and when we turn it on you see that it extends out. On the front you have the light meter and then on the other side you have the mirror. That mirror is used to help you frame up for the selfie because obviously there's no screen on the back so you can't just flip it around and frame up before you take the shot. Also on the creative side as well, where you have the flash, you can actually add on these gels. So you've got like a purple, you've got a green, and then you've got a red. And what this does is it gives you a bit more of a creative flow in what you want to take pictures of. You could use them for double exposure, so you can add on a green, then a red, or you can just keep with the red. And it just gives you a bit more flexibility in being creative. And that's pretty much Instax's goal in designing this camera, is so that the user has a bit more creativity and they can actually play around and treat it like a gen general camera, but then get the instant image straight away. So that's our review on the SQ6. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, my name's Luke, this is Photobot, and we'll see you next time.